Zara Tyndall's rebellious piercing drew typical response, from Princess Anna Charles' party. Teenagers are renowned for testing their limits, and young royals are no exception. In 1998, a then 17-year-old Zara Phillips made headlines when she had her tongue pierced, an act of rebellion that resonated with parents of teenagers everywhere. The daring decision was made during her time at Gordon Stone, the Scottish boarding school attended by many members of the royal family. Zara's new silver tongue stud was first spotted at her uncle King Charles's 50th birthday party. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. You can only imagine the reaction when she revealed her new oral accessory to her mother, Princess Anne. However, thanks to a previously overlooked interview with Zara, now 43, we get a glimpse into the Princess Royal's straightforward response, reports The Express. In a 2011 interview with Tatler magazine, Zara quipped, at least I didn't have it coming out of my nose, or anything. Reports also suggested that Princess Anne, unfazed by her daughter's bold new look, simply asked if Zara could still speak properly with the piercing. Former royal butler, Grant Harold, recall how Zara's unconventional style choice left a lasting impression on him. He shared, she was the very first royal I met. In Scotland I was working and it was the weekend. He continued, it was all in the press that she had her tongue pierced and it was so exciting because when she was speaking to us, I suddenly saw the tongue piercing and I was like oh, I've seen it. Princess Anne is on the mend after an incident at her Gatcombe Park estate in Gloucestershire, where she is believed to have been kicked or headbutted by a horse. In a statement from Buckingham Palace, the Princess Royal has sustained minor injuries and concussion following an incident on the Gatcombe Park estate yesterday evening. Her Royal Highness remains in Southmead Hospital, Bristol, as a precautionary measure for observation, and is expected to make a full and swift recovery. The King has been kept closely informed and joins the whole royal family, in sending his fondest love and well wishes to the Princess for a speedy recovery. Zara Tyndall, daughter of Princess Anne, is a well-known figure in the public eye. However, many may not be aware that she has a half-sister. Zara and her brother Peter Phillips are the offspring of Princess Anne, who is currently hospitalized following an incident believed to involve a horse, resulting in concussion, and her first husband, Captain Mark Phillips. The pair were wed from 1973 until 1992. Following their divorce, Mark found love once more with Hawaiian equestrian Sandy Fluger. The couple had one child, Stephanie Phillips, Zara and Peter's half-sister, before parting ways on May 3, 2012. Despite her royal connections, Stephanie has maintained a low profile. She was educated at the esteemed Dean Close School in Cheltenham, before pursuing business management, at the University of Worcester, reports The Mirror. To support her student lifestyle, Stephanie even took up work as a barmaid in a local pub, according to The Express. Stephanie spent her childhood at Aston Farm on the Gatcombe Estate, where Princess Anne's recent accident occurred. This location is in close proximity to her royal half-siblings, as Anne's former husband continued to reside there post-divorce in 1992. Stephanie, the half-sister of Zara Tyndall, has a deep-rooted love for horses and riding, a passion she shares with her sibling. Given that their father Mark is an Olympic gold medalist in equestrian for Great Britain and their mother Sandy was part of the U.S. Olympic dressage team at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, it's no surprise Stephanie has followed suit. She has participated in numerous competitions and continues to serve as an active member of the dressage and eventing jury, even being part of the jury during the 2016 Olympics.